The overall goal of this project is to develop an interactive patient-specific modeling pipeline and simulate the effects of deep brain stimulation on neuronal fiber pathways in near real time. Deep brain stimulation is a therapeutic intervention that's been um, FDA approved and in use for um, over a decade for movement disorders such as Parkinson's disease and it's been investigated for a wide range of other neurological and psychiatric conditions. Computational modeling of deep brain stimulation has been a tool that's, um, that's been quite useful and the use of it has grown in order to better understand and predict the effects of stimulation in individual subjects. One of the um, persistent problems with computational modeling is the amount of time that it's taken to construct and run computational model experiments. And the purpose of this protocol is to explain ways that the computational modeling can be done in near real time and in a much more interactive manner. And this is achieved through a few innovations. Uh, the major one is the ability to do interactive meshing of whole heads of individual subjects. The protocol in this video will describe how to build a patient-specific finite element model from acquired MRI volumes and then simulate the electric field induced by an implanted deep brain stimulation electrode. The main steps in the creation of these models are to 1. Build a finite element model representing the patient's brain and the implanted electrode. 2. Add biophysical properties of the brain and stimulation parameters of the deep brain stimulation device to the finite element mesh. And 3. Solve for the voltage generated by the electrode in the model. The electrode modeled in this project is a Medtronic 3387 DBS lead. However, any electrode geometry can be used with this approach. The 3387 is a cylindrical lead with four contacts separate.